Hi, so today we are filming in our backyard. It's really hot inside. It's about 32 degrees in Sydney on a Sunday and I couldn't find a place to film inside that was cool enough. So here we are. Today's topic is about texting and reasons why men have stopped, uh, may have stopped texting you. So I meet a lot of women and they are just, they get really confused when they've met a guy and you know, the texting is great, he's very consistent and all of a sudden he just stops texting and they have no idea why. And earlier this month I spoke to a friend of mine named Tom and he gave me some really, really good insights as to why um, guys stop texting women. So I will get straight to it. Number one reason is the frequency of texting. Maybe you're doing it too much. So there, contrary to what people say, there is too much of a good thing. And when you are constantly texting a guy and he's kind of not returning the favor, um, you're doing two things. Number one, you're not letting him pursue you. You're not giving him a chance to respond. And two, in you texting him so often, he feels obligated. He now feels obligated to text back even when he may not want to. And when he doesn't, then he feels bad about it. So the general rule of thumb with texting is one for one, right? You match the level of investment um, that the other person has in your conversation, especially even in the beginning when you don't really know where your relationship stands. So take te look at texting like a conversation. You say something, the other person reacts. You say something, the other person reacts. So if you send a text and you find that his response is one word in answer or not very enthusiastic or if you don't hear from him at all then scale back and let him give let him respond give him a chance to do it otherwise you know you're just kind of playing a tennis uh, match with yourself so number one match the level of investment and this rule should apply in relationships anyways um, you don't want to over invest in a relationship or in someone if you don't know how they feel about you. It's only when they show um, the same level of interest that you then move on and you reciprocate. So yeah, that's that. The second reason could be, you know, the level of conversation. So a lot of guys tell me, um, actually it's more of a complaint and they've been asking me to write about this, is that a lot of uh, texts that they get are all around the same thing. So. The, a lot of uh, women, they say, we'll start the conversation with, hey, how's it going? Um, how's your weekend? What did you do today? And it's all very much same, same. And when this is all online and through text, and you know, there isn't really anything to differentiate you from the next person you're speaking to. And it could feel really, really um, draining and exhausting to have the same conversation with um, over and over again with different people. So... If you're starting a conversation with, you know, hey, how are you? How is your day? You might want to change it up a, a little bit just to show who you are and to engage with someone on a deeper level than, you know, the superficial stuff. So a lot of, um, actually anyone wants a conversation to be you know, engaging, playful, flirty, especially in the beginning of a relationship. You know, try to play that up. Look at, their, uh, look, look at their profile, look at what their interests are, and then start conversations based on that. I have a lot of tips um, coming up in the, a book that I'll be launching, but you can also read this in uh, The Ultimate Guide to Texting, which is a book that's already out there. Uh, yeah, so be mindful of your level of conversation and just make sure that it's personalized as engaging as possible. The third reason why a guy may have stopped texting you is, you know, maybe your intentions are just to chat to someone online and maybe not take uh, anything to a, a real date. So you'd be surprised a lot of people, men and women do this, where they create an online dating profile to boost their Instagram following or Facebook and they'll blatantly say in the profile that they're not looking for anything, that they're in a relationship and that they're just looking to meet friends and for people to check out their um, Instagram um, profile. And it's a very, very um, good example of misuse of online dating apps. And you know the purpose of online dating is to take offline conversations online, yet a lot of people have gotten so comfortable with these relationships behind the screens that they'll just keep it behind the screens. So if you haven't really shown any interest in meeting up with someone and taking the conversation offline, then he will probably stop investing. 
and fair enough, uh, some people are actually on these dating apps to meet someone in real life and, you know, share a life with somebody. So these are the three reasons why he may not be texting you as often as you like or maybe reason why he stopped texting you altogether. There are many more. Um, if you want to learn more about texting and, um, you know, the art of conversation, check out my books below. I'll link them. And if you enjoyed this video, let me know. Give me a thumbs up or send me an email. Love hearing from you. And I hope to be more consistent in doing these videos. So if you like them, just give me some feedback. If you don't, give me feedback anyway. And I hope to see you next week. Thanks for watching. Bye.